gentlemen, I am Light and welcome to my beginner's tutorial on Aptos staking throughout the normal way and also throughout liquid staking. In case you saw my Sui staking video from two weeks ago, well, the process is going to be pretty much similar to that one as Aptos and Sui are using a lot of the same technology underneath. So in order to get started, we obviously are going to be needing an actual wallet. Currently, there's over 20 different wallets that are supporting Aptos as an asset. But something that I keep constantly saying to you guys is that just because the asset is being supported on the wallet, that doesn't mean that that wallet is also supporting staking or tokens or NFTs. Uh, for that chain as well. So they're usually very limited on these multi-coin wallets uh, when it comes to certain chains. So actually only very few wallets here in this list do support staking. The one that I know is actually MSafe, that is a multi-sig wallet, so probably not for you watching this video. Then we have OKX, which is a popular multi-chain wallet, very useful one. Then we have Aptos Connect, and that is something that you create with your Web3 login. So basically you log in with your Gmail, and that will be your login to that actual wallet. So you will not have any type of seed phrase or private key. And that's very convenient for people who are not very tech savvy with crypto in general. But sometimes these keyless wallets might have certain limitations when it comes to interacting with certain uh, other applications. But in case you're just going to be doing staking, it's a great option. And then we have two wallets here which are specifically made for Aptos and that is Pontem and Petra. And today's video will be focused on Petra as that is kind of the most popular wallet right now. And by the way, in case any of the team members are watching, this logo is old, it's not looking uh, like this anymore. So please update it. But let's actually jump into the Petra's uh, website. And I have all the links, by the way, listed down below for everything necessary that you're gonna be needing to have in this video. So everything will be found on the actual description. And this is something that you can download on your browser, and that's what we're going to be uh, using today. But it's also available on iOS and Android. And the process should be one-to-one -one same on those devices. And who knows, those uh, mobile devices might also support actual uh, staking uh, on a more streamlined process. So the process might be directly uh, done on the actual application. Since I don't have Petra on my Android, Android device, I don't actually know. But it could be possible there. So... The first thing we obviously are going to be needing is to installing it and then we're going to be um, storing our seed phrase somewhere and after we have set up our seed phrases and everything the wallet should be looking something like this with probably zero balance then we are going to be um, clicking receive and here are we're going to be having our address and i'm going to be leaving uh, exchange links down below where you can buy aptos which you can transfer over to your wallet and the key distinction we always need to understand here is that the Aptos uh, string format for the address is 66 characters and it looks a lot similar to the ones that we have on Ethereum and the EVM chains but those are actually 42 characters so make sure you don't get mixed up with those two. The SUI and Aptos are 66 and the EVMs are 42 and we're going to be copying it then we're going to be pasting it into the actual um, you know exchange and then we're going to be moving the money. Uh, this is a very fast blockchain so we are obviously going to be able to move the money pretty, pretty fast and it should be appearing on your actual wallet pretty fast. Then we obviously can go to the websites and see how much of staking rewards we can get for the amount. So if we're going to be staking out $1,000 worth of Aptos or 209 Aptos. This is how much we're going to be getting in uh, 60. Okay, this website is showing out some weird statistics right now as the, the earnings are not accounted, but it's actually $65, I guess, in the current rates uh, of, you know, staking $1,000 worth of Aptos in a year. And that is assuming that the price is going to be same at 4.78, which is likely not going to be the case. I think in a year, we are probably going to be a bit more at the lower end of that. So the um, APY we're going to be getting in terms of rewards is going to be roughly around 7% to 6.4. That seems to be the average. And yes, you're going to be seeing different percentages, but most of the time they are all the same. And maybe because of the lower percentage, there might be that that specific validator um, where you're delegating your Aptos to might have been inactive or it might be offline and that has caused, you know, the rewards to go down. And what does delegated staking mean? It means that they are doing the staking and you're delegating your assets to them, but you're not giving your assets to them. So that's a very important distinction here is that they can't run with your money. That's what I'm trying to say. Worst case scenario, what can happen is that delegator is 
stopping closing their shop and they're stopping their business so you're just going to be losing on some of those rewards um because they're closing the node so sometimes you have to keep attention to if the node is still alive and maybe you know once in three months you're going to be like changing the node to something else perhaps but it's not usually something that they need to do i'm just giving you all this potential scenarios that may happen so um i don't really have a lot of preferences here but nansen would be mine because they might do an airdrop so stake through nansen that would be my uh, thing so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be actually going into uh, explorer aptoslabs.com this link also down below in the description and we're going to be doing the staking throughout this platform and you can connect your wallet and once again we have aptos connect supported here we have petra we have razor wallet okx msafe nightly and pontum so these are really the ones that are going to be uh, supported throughout staking because other wallets kind of log in into this platform and in sui sui's case a lot of these wallets do support like staking inside the wallets so with Aptos, that's not really the case with a lot of the wallets, sadly. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be connecting with Petra and a pop-up will come out and then we're going to be hitting approve. And now we are locked in. We're going to be going into the validators tab and here we're going to see all the validators that exist. And then we're going to be choosing the second node, which is second tab, sorry, delegation nodes. And here we can choose an actual operator. Now these are just addresses. So the problem here is that you have to go into another website to see what exactly, who is running this address over here, because we, we don't know, right? So these are just like numbers. We obviously don't know who is who. So uh, I'm going to maybe posting the Nansen address down below so you can find it on the list. And here it's important thing is the commissions. So this is how much they take. They take not your cut, what they take. So you want to go, as you can see, the second most popular is one that takes 2%. So you don't want to lose a lot of your rewards. The API is 7%. So that would mean 2% out of 7%. It's basically minimal, to be honest, if you're like a really low amount of staking. And by the way, um, it needs to be understood that 11 Aptos is the minimum staking that you can do if you're going to be staking on Aptos. That is currently set in stone. So that's around $50 uh, in the current... Uh, you know, some, and I wouldn't really say that staking anything underneath hundred dollars would not be very smart, but then again, it might get you eligible for their second airdrop when that may happen. So let's say we're going to be taking the 2% one here and we're going to be you choosing stake. And there's obviously going to be, by the way, before we do that, there's going to be a lot of ones that actually have, um, some of them might be having hundred percent. Those are likely going to be exchanges. So never give money to exchanges as validators. That's a bad idea. So let's go with the 2% one. Then we're going to be choosing stake. And here you can see some of the statistics. Compound rewards are 7% APR. So the few things we need to understand before we make a mistake. Number one, 11 uh, aptos is the minimum. Number two, it takes 14 days to unstake your aptos. Number three, the rewards are compounding. So in some other blockchains, you have to claim your staking rewards like in Cosmos and etc. But in Aptos, you don't need to do that. So everything is like it's accumulating by itself there. And it's basically compounding those into the stake itself. And here we can see the next stake is going to be on the 21st. That's when I can unlock by the earliest. So we're going to be clicking deposit. Here we say 11 Aptos. There's going to be a small network fee. Always never put out the max amount because you're going to need the gas for it to unstaking and other things on the chain. And now the stake is done. That's that's how easy it is. You can go back into uh, your, well, basically it takes you back into the validator. And here you can initiate the unstake. So when you want to unstake your funds, just click here and voila. Also, sometimes in these wallets, it will be able to show you um, your staking here as well. So that's the case with uh, Martian Wallet and also on Petra. You can click details and it will take you back into, well, it didn't take you back into the page, which would have been very convenient. So you have to find out. In order to find your delegation again on the website, you need to go to the validators, then go into the delegation nodes. And then on the right side, we actually see my deposit over here. So it's here shows that that is the node we're going to be doing it. And then we're going to be hitting on stake here uh, in order to uh, start the process.
but there are other wallets which do have that unstake button available there maybe on the petra mobile version uh, we'll have that as well then obviously two questions may arise okay i don't like my funds being stuck for 14 days in case i want to sell them and also i may not have enough of 11 aptos but i still want to stake and that's where liquid staking comes along there's couple of these liquid staking platforms and it's pretty simple um you are gonna be let's say we're gonna be having one aptos and i want to move that into omnis finance and i'm going to be mint and st mint and uh, staking it or i have the option to also mint only i'm going to be choosing mint only here and that will create me um an actual token that is known as amapt that is a pegged token into the staked position so now I see tomorrow, oh, Aptos has gone 2x. Now I can go into uh, selling my AMAPT at the market into any token that has basically liquidity inside the uh, exchanges. So here I have the Amnis Aptos coin. Like, let's say I want to swap it. Now I can just do it to USD instantly. So there, you don't need to unstake your liquid tokens. That's the idea of the liquid token. You don't need to unstake it. So now I have the opportunity to basically uh, sell that asset instantly. That's what that's what it means. This is a liquid asset, and the risks are pretty low with the liquid um, assets, and most of the time you can trust them. But obviously, there's always risks that happen, hacks that can happen. But usually these processes are like very decentralized, and everything that happens underneath the hood is very secure. There are a couple of other places where you can do this. There's also Ditto Finance. They also have their own liquid staking token known as STAPT. And then there's also Kofi, which is uh, their KAPT uh, token. And these, this one actually gives you 9% APR. So in some cases, the liquid staking tokens actually give you a lot more than the, the normal staking does. That's sometimes the case. And sometimes also some of these uh, things might do their airdrop. I think Kofi does not have their own token yet. You can also stake these liquid tokens in some of these cases. That's just going to be giving you uh, extra uh, APY. But you know, as you can see, so it gives you 2% more if you stake it. So just correcting what I just said. But yeah, it's something that you can do. But obviously, I don't think there's a lot of point in staking your liquid unless you're going to be in the market in the game for a very long time in terms of playing the long-term goal for like multiple cycles in aptos so if you want to exit this cycle it's going to be a different thing but that basically wraps up my tutorial on aptos staking it is pretty easy for a process and there's a multitude of wallets that actually support it and the unstaking time is 14 which is not too bad as some wallets do some chains do have a longer period of that and obviously the APY is better than in SUI. So it's a bit higher than that. But is Aptos going to be performing as good as SUI? That remains to be seen. Or other staking-based assets. And also I do recommend getting the actual exchange links down below. And in case you want to buy SUI at a certain place. And don't want to loan from a friend. You always do that. And some exchanges do also give staking services. That needs to be understood. But the... You don't actually own those assets on those exchanges. Exchanges can go, you know, illiquid at points or they can exit scam. So the exchanges always have their risk versus doing things on a decentralized way. But thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned for more guides and I will be seeing you in the next video when it will be dropping out. Cheers.